two rants uh, back to back. So, this is from Sasha. <laughs> yes, that's, and she's f fairly excited. <laughs> Don't worry, Sasha, there's, there's someone, your sister's gonna have equal time. So the last time you were in Des Moines, you read a rant by my sister who attended your show, and for me, who wasn't invited and had to tutor my fucking kid that night. <laughs> well, guess what? We're back. My sister is here again. She had the fucking balls to ask me to watch her kid this time so she could attend. Well, fuck her. <laughs> I got tickets of my own this time. I'm still teaching because I haven't won the lottery or been accepted to any of the good hooker establishments in town. <laughs> so here I am, 46 years old and still in fucking middle school. Talk about hell. But here's the, the deal. The kids these days, Lewis, I'm not kidding. They're decent kids. It's the adults who are fucked up. These kids are dealing with shit we never could have imagined when we were going to school. These poor little bastards are coming from fucked up homes with horrible influences. I have students dealing with parents in jail, on drugs, or worse, Trump supporters. <laughs> Do you have any, any idea how fucking hard it is to keep my mouth shut when one of my 14-year-old students sits there spouting Trump 2020 and shit? I nearly lose my goddamn mind. I want to say to this kid, hey, listen here, you little Nazi in training. <laughs> if you think that orange fucking monkey has a damn clue how to run this country, we are just going to have to sterilize you because... <laughs> because you are obviously too stupid to be allowed to reproduce. <laughs> see, see, here's, here's where we, here's, here's where the guy who, who talked about, you know, uh, the criticism of the president, this is where you've crossed the line. <laughs> this is what he's talking about, okay? Uh, and I'm not reading this really to be critical of, you'll see why I'm reading this. It's, it's, it, but, but, whoo, whoo, whoo. But no, teachers can't express their opinions at school. Free speech is for everyone except teachers. I get it. We can't be seen as biased. We have to remain neutral. Yeah, yeah, I fucking get it. <laughs> but seriously, I have to sit and listen to this little shit every damn day spout verbal bullshit about his hero. It's enough to make me drink more. <laughs> anyway, the kids, it, or, 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 except for that little asshole. <laughs> are decent kids. Teens are basically um, decent. They really are. Sure, you have your fuck-ups. Every generation does. But Iowa kids still do what's right 94% of the time. Many of them still have parents who aren't so fucking brain-dead by technology that they aren't paying attention. Many parents are still the kind who make sure a kid gets his shit straight if I call or email home. Oh, sure, I get the parents who are, he's your fucking problem from eight to four. Okay, honey, game on. He's going to be your problem for the rest of your fucking life when you visit, when you visit his ass in jail. <laughs> I'll be retired, so fuck you. Anyway, I'm thrilled to be here in person tonight, even if I'm not sitting near my sister. She's probably too drunk by now to realize this rant mentioned her. <laughs> Anyway, keep telling people to fix their shit because the upcoming teens are ready to fix shit. God knows they can't fuck it up any worse than we have. Boy, is that true. Now this is, this is from Andrea. Last year I ranted about my sister. Not coming to your show, even though she was invited. She said I didn't invite her. She's a lying fucking bitch. Well, she had to tutor her fucking kid. She's a delusional fucking teacher who still has hope for our youth. I'm gonna request whatever fucking med she's on cause that's some good shit. <laughs> I 
cut to October 2019. We get news that you're coming back to Des Moines in January for another show. We deduce that you're high because that's the only explanation that anyone would choose to come to Des Moines in January. <laughs> Don't you remember the shitty fucking roads from last year? They're the same every year in fucking January. It lasts 984 days. <laughs> I bought our tickets and invite my sister. How can I ensure that she doesn't have to tutor her fucking kid and attend your fucking show? I have to offer to take him on a senior trip, but only if he gets all A's and B's on his report card. Odds are in my favor, though, because the kid isn't motivated to do shit. Fuck me, he's actually doing it, and double fuck me, she's actually able to attend your show tonight. <laughs> That's a fucking lot. I hope my nephew likes his senior trip to fucking Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Please stop being so funny, it's getting too fucking expensive for me. Gonna go fucking see what kidneys are going for on the black market now. <laughs> By the way, this is Sasha again. By the way, found out my sister, Andy, that bitch, has better seats than we do tonight. That's fine. I'm perfectly happy sitting right next to your production booth because what really matters is that you're reading my rant and that twat has to sit there and listen to it. <laughs> Love you, sis. <laughs> that is... That is really, that's a special one. <laughs> no matter all of the arguments that we have about politics, all of the shit we do, nothing beats two siblings going at it. <laughs> and allowing me to read it, that was just great. I feel so good now. <laughs> 